Folks, Brian Blessing, glad to be with you. ATS.io here from Las Vegas. Time to look ahead to the Super Bowl, the big game. We know the participants, and we know the number. It's the Chiefs looking to repeat against Tom Brady. Unbelievable. 14 championship games going to his 10th Super Bowl. He's got six titles. The Bucks, the Chiefs. The Chiefs opened three and a half with a total of 57. Didn't take long. Moments after the Chiefs game ended, we did get some buyback on Brady in Tampa Bay, and that's not surprising at all. It's almost exactly what happened, the way the numbers laid out when they uh, had the opener against the Packers. You could see some Chiefs money here in the, during the course of two weeks when people just realize what this offense can do. Now, bottom line is uh, Tampa Bay goes to Lambeau. They get the win. Tom Brady, 20 to 36, 280 yards, through three touchdowns. But he threw the three picks. A couple of them, he was under duress, kind of just threw them up for grabs. And the Bucks had an 18-point lead, and it got way more interesting than it ever should have. And, you know, what was Green Bay thinking? Great play by the Bucks near the end of the half with basically the last play of the first half. Scotty Miller gets deep. Big touchdown. All the momentum in the world going into the locker room. Then LaFleur decides to – you know, late in the game, kick the field goal to cut it to five instead of going for it on fourth and goal with Rodgers. Uh, easy to set, can guess that. But Tampa Bay survives the game. Leonard Fournette had 12 carries for 55 yards and a touchdown. Nice spin move on his 20-yard touchdown run. Gives them the power back. Chris Godwin's the guy that had the big game against Green Bay. Godwin, five catches, 110 yards. Miller with that big catch. For the most part, Packers did a good job against Mike Evans and Gronkowski. They took those guys away. But the beauty of Tampa Bay is they've got weapons all over the place. Antonio Brown did not play in the NFC Championship game. Got to believe he will play in the Super Bowl. And that total of 57, I think it even goes up, which is crazy. Uh, one thing, you, you, we got to say it right now, you bet it, and you're looking two weeks out. You know, the rains, the skies can open up in Tampa Bay at any minute. But, you know, it's got to be nice. Uh, Temperature-wise, just don't know if they think you won't get one of those weird Florida monsoons with a total of 57. The Chiefs, they do did what they do best. Uh, that's up and down the field. And they finally put the Sasquatch foot on somebody. They were the better team than the Bills. Very deserving. They were down 9 nothing after Hardman fumbled a punt inside his own five-yard line. Chiefs never panicked, came back. Kelsey uncoverable, 13 catches. 118 yards, two touchdowns. He destroyed the Bills. Tyreek Hill, nine catches for 172 yards. Hardman was the goat on the fumbled pump, but then he gets a 50-yard end around. He got a touchdown. And the Williams kid now really is taking the lead in the backfield. Edwards Hilaire was back, but he was ineffective. So Kansas City running the ball. You've got Edwards Hilaire, Williams, and Le'Veon Bell. But this is a team very focused with that sense of purpose to go back and repeat, which is not easy to do in the National Football League. Uh, again, Mahomes, Brady, fifth time they've played. They're 2-2 two and two against each other. Uh, Brady's still throwing the ball as good as he ever has. Uh, but the Chiefs, if they saw what the Packers did, it was some jailhouse breaks and come up the middle and pressure him. They did have the Packers force turnovers, and I would look for the Chiefs. Spagnuolo dialed up a great game plan against Josh Allen and the Bills. A lot of people are going to say, oh, Josh Allen didn't play good. The key to this game was the chief secondary. They masked everything they were doing, and nobody was open for the Bills. I mean, the Chiefs defense played exceptionally well in that win over the Bills. Compelling matchup. Mahomes and Brady are going to get all the pub, and you know the props are going to be unbelievable, over 400 props. Adam Burke here at ATS.io, he's got his weekly or his daily podcast. I join him on Tuesdays. His information will be great. Uh, he'll also join me on my show, Sportsbook Radio, where every weekday uh, on Sirius Channel 204, uh, you can catch it now. And we'll dissect the props. We'll be doing Super Bowl remotes so Thursday, Friday, leading into the big game over at the Superbook at the Westgate. We'll be out at Sunset Station. So we'll be going around town, talking to odds makers, handicappers, and dissecting the props. It's always a fun two weeks here in Vegas. We're trying to get back to normal. People will come in here for the big game, make their bets. Uh, by next year, we hope that uh, we're seeing tons of planes in the sky and it's a regular Super Bowl 
uh, with everybody in here having a grand old time. But the football, to the NFL's credit, it's had integrity all year long. They got through it. We've made it to the final game. Chiefs are going to be salty, but, boy, I'll tell you, it's never easy going against like a guy like Tom Brady who just knows how to get it done. And this time they were road warriors, the Bucks, but they're ultimately playing on their home field, which really has never happened before. Exactly the the team in the host city playing on their home field. So Brady bucking all trends. Here he goes again. Brady Mahomes, it's going to be great. And we'll have you covered here throughout the two weeks. This is an overview on the opening number again, three and a half, 57. More with props. We're going to do all kinds of videos. Lots of coverage still to come. This is a first plus video literally right after the AFC championship game. The opening number was three and a half. It resides at three minus 20 and a total of 57.